Hi Taurus, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person um, from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. Now, these might be things you want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have but we will get that at the end. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I'm feeling like refreshed this weekend and everything, even though it was like a long weekend. I just, I'm so happy to be here with all of you. I just, I really am. I can't, I should thank every single sign and I will, of course, you know, everybody, all of my viewers, all of my followers, um, subscribers. I just, I love y'all and I'm so thankful for every one of you. So it makes me happy to do this, <laughs> spend time with y'all. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at what the person on your mind is hiding from you, Taurus. Okay, so the person on Taurus's mind, show me what they are hiding from Taurus. Ooh. Wow, the moon, the sun, and the page of pentacles, as well as the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it's like they're hiding the fact that you make them happy. They're really happy with you. They feel your energy and they like learning about you. There's something about them being a little more reserved. I get that this page of pentacles right here is a little bit um, shy. You know, they learn, they study, they you know, they're not in a rush here, but um, they're very content. They're happy. They feel good um, with you. Why are they hiding this? That tells me it's kind of like something new. Um, you're actually a perfect fit. I mean, we have the sun and the moon. They go together like yin and yang, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at that moon card. And I do have Pisces, Cancer, Leo, and also um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy, a little bit of Taurus energy. So let's go ahead and clarify the moon. Okay, so they're also hiding the fact that they had a dream about you, and it's something that has been heavy on their mind. Um... They want to see how things progress. They're waiting for you to give them a sign. Look how they're looking out right here with this three of wands, Aries energy, the fool coming out here. So I do have Aquarius, a little bit of Aries, but um, the fool card is an air element and um, falls under just in case anybody's wondering. People always go, no, that's supposed to be Aries because this, that, and the other. It's action if they put that towards it. But the fool is like, do I want to do it? Do I want to start this? Am I going to do it? Um, so, you know, it has both elements in it. However, it is an air energy. Anyways, so a little bit of Aquarius and also some Aries energy here. And this person had a dream about you. Um, they constantly daydream about you. They're also waiting for a sign or some kind of like hidden message, like signs and synchronicities to come out before they take this leap. If you give them an indication that you are really interested and you really want them and you really want this, um, or you want something more than whatever you two have going on here, then they're going to take that leap. And when they do, it's going to be very, it's very innocent in a sense of, you know, how when you're a kid and you're like, Hey, you want to be friends? And Oh yeah, let's be friends. You know, kids are so innocent and they don't even think about Oh, should I talk to that person? What if they don't want to talk to... There's nothing like that. There's such an innocence to children that this person is ready to take that leap and, and into that innocence of, I really want this and I'm so glad that you, you know. So they're hiding and holding back. I'm. They're a little shy. This person is a little shy. And now whenever you get their attention, full attention, they know that you're really interested, that's when you see this other side of them. That's when you see this free, fun, loving, authentic self of theirs. They just don't open up to everybody like that. It really takes somebody they can trust to open up to them. So um, for them to open up to them, sorry. So let's go ahead and clarify the sun. Oh, 
Ooh, so we have the six of swords. We also have the four of um, pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Very happy with you that they're wanting to take this happiness and move forward and invest it into something much more here. Um, making plans for the future. Oh, they're like wanting to take you on a trip. So traveling, investing. Oh, well, I'm spoiling it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know who this is for, but I love this so far. You know, this person's wanting to save up and wanting to either come travel to see you or take you on a trip is really what it feels like. They're very happy. They think that things are going very well. They're very content. Um, so maybe that's why they're hiding it. I wasn't supposed to spoil it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but just prepare, you know, go shopping, uh, make sure, I don't know where you're going, but it does look like it's going to be sunny. It does look like you are going to travel by plane here. Um, and make sure you take some money with you. Okay. Um, not only that sunscreen, all that good stuff. And just, if you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't bought a bathing suit and I don't know when go get one, <laughs> go get one. Um, so, you know, and they should be on clearance right now, like any, everywhere. But this person is wanting to move forward. They're wanting to take that happiness forward and really invest it. And, you know, the the four of pentacles also comes out as luxury. You know, building those pentacles, holding on to them. This is mine. I don't want to let it go. It feels amazing. Why would I want to give this up? This person is, is pretty invested here. So let's go ahead and clarify this page of pentacles. Mm hmm okay all right okay so the page of pentacles is clarified by the seven of swords okay as well as the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck and no i don't see this as somebody else what i see is this person is wanting to learn more about you they're very strategic about what they ask how they ask it because they they don't want to be found out that they're really, really interested and that they're, tr oh, even like what you like. Okay. So maybe they're, if it's not a trip, um, that they take you on, but there is, I mean, it, there's a trip. Um, so if you've been wanting to go somewhere, Taurus, and you've mentioned it, they're asking questions now, like, oh, really? Have you ever been there? Da, 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 da. Um, when do you when would you want to go like what time of year is that something you've always wanted to do like would you go in the summer when it's really hot would you go you know in the winter time uh, there's a lot of questions and the way that they are strategizing here they're being very sneaky and strategic okay and um this ace of cups also i feel like this ace of cups could be for those of you with somebody new and they really like you they don't know how to tell you they have a child and they feel that that can sometimes ruin everything um with people who are like not invested in that or they're just protective they could be very protective and it looks like a new baby you know a very small child um tells me maybe somebody in the past was like this isn't what I want I'm not looking for to date somebody with a child but guess what it's a full package so whoever whoever this is on your mind Taurus with them like holding back that information let them know you know if you like children or you have children whatever it is you know they need to be open and honest I don't know why they would hide that you know when you're a parent it's a full package and that's something I put out there all the time. I'm like, I'm a mom and I love my kids and my kids come first. And it takes a very unique and strong person to be in my life for my, for me and my, my kids and my family. Um, so I just, you know, I, I feel for those that feel they can't open up and be honest and say, well, I have a kid because they feel and, you know, a little intimidated that, someone will leave and if you know what if someone's going to leave you because you have a child and they should go they need to go um and that's okay some people don't want children some people do some people you know it's it's just be honest um but there's also like a new abundance happening even in their life maybe with money their business is taking off um if they work somewhere they've been saving a lot of money or they got a raise as well um, making some more money maybe working some overtime here but this person has plans, you know, and 
they are, you know, waiting to move forward, but doing it strategically and, and hoping for the best. They're not in a rush. They want to learn more about you. Um, they want to spend some quality time together alone to get to know each other more as well. So this is interesting. I like this. Let me have three messages plus one bonus message from this person on Taurus's mind. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, some of you, this is a situation. Okay. The messages that come out. Okay. Okay. We have, we have a mixture of things. So let's start with, um, that one, that one, wait, what is this one, that one, that one, that one. Okay. And last one at the bottom of the deck. Okay. For some of you, this is somebody who's missing you, um, and waiting, for you um, when they had you in their life they were going through a situation of uh, you know maybe something difficult uh, they needed to heal from that so it's time for me to heal now um, if you're not in their life I wish I had treated you better if you are in their life there's something about them needing to heal wishing that they had done better treated you better Ooh, interesting the way this comes out because more of this was geared towards the fact that this person's very happy but yes even somebody that's not with you taurus can miss you and feel that you are their happiness and that you know they want to reach out to you but um try, like sneaking around to to see even if you're with somebody else or, you know, they might have lied about their feelings for you in the past and that was absolutely a lie because they were interested in you. You were the best thing in my life, see? So they lied about it. It was because they were hurting from something else that feels like it had nothing to do with you. <clears throat> and then they didn't, they felt they didn't treat you as good as they should have. You made them extremely happy and they carried their past issues of pain into the present and they really should have healed that before they started something with you. And then, you know, whenever they lied about like, I don't know what I want or I don't know where things are going, that's whenever, you know, they were lying to themselves about how they really felt about you. And I feel like this person didn't want to drag you through the mud with all their problems that they had as well. And so that's why they acted the way they did. They could have handled it a different way. They could have told you the truth, why they lied to you about it. You know, that's, that's for them to explain to you why, um, if they do, because they really want to and also saving up I feel like if this person is saving up it's like they don't want to let go of what you two had and they're mustering up the courage you know like they are um, saving up the courage to approach you but it's going slow for that whoever that person is those of you with this new person going on I know I messed everything up so I feel somebody who is really heavily attached to your energy that um misses you and is not with you but i also get that some of you have a new person here because this person's like i want to be more than just friends oh and then some of you were friends with this person and they lied about their feelings for you um but wanting to be more than just friends with this other person who has dreams about you waiting for a sign or a signal from you you make them happy they want to invest in that they want to take you somewhere um that person wants to get to know you more and just know they could also end up doing these things out of being scared to love. However, if you take your time with them the way that they're wanting to take their time with you, it might not happen. I feel like if, if you two are open with communication with each other, it might alleviate some of these, you know, things that they're holding up in their mind of, you know, you're the best thing ever. I don't deserve you. And I don't know, you know, and I just keep messing things up and that's them in their own pain. And maybe they're feeling they're putting their pain on you in some way. And they don't want to do that. Um, with someone new, like you make them really, really happy when they didn't know where they were going to go in life and they didn't know what they were going to do or like where things were taking them. Um, you're, you were a, a shining light Taurus in a very dark place for this person, the person that misses you and the person you're with you know, that's currently on your mind because I feel two people attached to your energy here. I will tell you, Taurus, uh, 
I think you're amazing. And <laughs> for me, with my rising sign being a Scorpio, it says that Taurus is the best for me um, as far as like someone who calms me, you know, helps me to understand things. And my mother is a Taurus. Um, she's amazing. And when I was reading my birth chart, I'm going, okay, this makes so much sense because I'm a Leo sun, so I'm very feisty. And I'm a Pisces moon, so I'm very passionate and loving as well. And then I have a Scorpio rising, so I'm just a hot mess altogether whenever, you know, my emotions get the best of me. But I'm protective, I'm loving, I'm also like, don't mess with people, and I'll cut people out of my life if, I, <laughs> if they're not going to be right and good for me. It's just who I am. But my mother is my balance, you know? she's just wonderful so I just have to say Taurus like you you are probably the balance to whoever this is um and they didn't realize it the person who misses you and this person that's with you um you're the balance to them as well and it's a very powerful connection so um take a little bit of uh, appreciation in that and like pat yourself on the back because you're you're a good omen for people and not only that like I said you're you were a shining light in the dark for this person or these people. So anyways, this is what I have for you. I love you all. I'm so glad I could be here today and do this for you. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and weekend. I will see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.